and you get in it and you become closed to other ideas. You're actually shielded from them and you pay a lot of money. Yeah. You told me tragically that you have family members that have cut you off because you left. That's right. Because I left, I just uh, kind of took off. And you can go through a rather, rather long ordeal to sort of leave on good terms, but I wasn't interested in that. It's, in my opinion, also a form of mind control, which you have to go through. And um, I, my sister, who was the one that introduced me to Scientology way back in 1972, she went all the way to OT8, which is as high as you can go right now. OT stands for Operating Thetan, by the way. Mm-hmm. And... Um, She, even though she was so high and had done all the training you could, should do, and she was really uh, pretty dedicated as a Scientologist, she got cancer and passed away in her mid fifties, young age. Um, She had two daughters who I was close to and her husband, and they, because I left and got declared a suppressive person, they sent me disconnection letters, they're called. And so they will no longer speak to me. That's not really unusual in some really fringy religions. I mean, you and I are talking about that off air, that getting shunned is tragically part of some faith in America. In the the world today, you just get shunned. Yeah. We're talking about Hubbard's belief, the 75 million year ago space war and the arrival on Earth of the Thetans. And Hubbard himself was was a sci-fi writer. Yes, he was. T- tell the story. The uh, story from Incident 2? The... Yeah. All right. So this was – if you're a Scientologist, what you're taught is that you are a spirit called a Thetan, mm-hmm. T-H-E-A-E-T-A-N, mm-hmm. and that you have existed literally for quadrillions of years. Yeah. Who, did, who did Hubbard believe – we talked about Sun Moon believing he was Jesus. Who did Hubbard believe he was? He said that he was um, Buddha. Buddha. He wrote a book called Hymn of Asia, mm-hmm. and he says basically in there he's Buddha returned. Mm-hmm. And uh, he also said he was Cecil Rhodes, which is sort of funny because it turned out that Cecil Rhodes was gay. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, Cecil Rhodes, that's why Rhodes scholars were always young men. Seriously. Uh, Cecil Rhodes created a country, Rhodesia. Yeah. And he's one of the great imperialists. Whatever you, if, if there's ever a guy who would use the word wog, it would be Cecil Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Howard Hubbard went to Rhodesia in 1966 I, I in that. an effort to sort of win over the government. Of Rhodesia. Mm-hmm. And now it's Zimbabwe. Yeah. And they got rid of, but that was a, that's a Cecil Rhodes is a, an amazing character in history. Mm-hmm. Creates a country, creates diamond mines. Yeah. And is gay. Sets right. up the trust, and the trust are only for young men. Yeah. Whew. At that time, he wrote a letter to um, the head of South Africa. I can't remember his name, praising apartheid. Yeah, oh yeah. That oh, Elrond yeah. Hubbard was pretty racist himself. So Hubbard realizes, and according to some other science fiction writers of the time, that there are these conversations about inventing a religion. Right, and there are accounts of this I've read. Mm-hmm. He's I have too. evidently said that if you want to make a million dollars, don't mm-hmm. be a writer. Yeah. This is paraphrased. Yeah. Start your own religion, yeah. which he proceeded to do. Why does it catch on, do you think? I mean, there are so many religions that try and fail. Why do you think Scientology caught on? It's sort of slickly packaged. It's got a whole marketing um, strategy. <clears throat> the um, The initial ideas you read, they're um, pretty logical and... They're, they're, it's very complicated. Yeah. One thing is is that you are um, shielded from counter ideas. Mm-hmm. Things like psychology and psychiatry. Psychiatry kills. Yeah. It's labeled as actually when you really get up there um, in these secret writings, psychiatry is the force that has caused the decline of the entire universe. Well, that's why Tom Cruise can stand there and scream at Matt Lauer that he just mm-hmm. doesn't understand. That's right. And psychiatry, I mean, we knocked, we talked about Brooke Shields and postpartum depression. But according to Cruz, if he were to tell the truth, which he did not, I mean, he just said that no one understood and that he did. Right. Why? Because psychiatry kills. He had, it's, this is part of these secret writings. 
and you cannot. You're like sworn to secrecy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you have to go through extensive security checking. Before it's, you're allowed to read this. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you have to demonstrate that you're loyal, that you have contributed to Scientology, that you don't have, uh, you know, misdeeds. Mm-hmm. Your inner life is sure. probed. Yeah. And you finally get an okay to read this stuff. And before you do, you sign uh, some sort of a bond or yeah. something. I read that. Yeah. That you will not talk about it at all or pay some huge sum of money or whatever. I've read that these things aren't really legally no, binding. No, it's like, yeah. But they kind of scare you. Sure. And so Tom Cruise, he couldn't talk about, say, oh, he can't. Um, the incident, th- incident two, the OT3 incident or any of that stuff. But he could say to Matt Lauer, you just don't understand. Yeah. Or this most recent video about the looking at the car wrecks and knowing these people caused their own car wrecks. And Jesus, I mean, I, I, but when Cruz did that on the Today Show, I'm sure you saw it many times or at least as many times as I've seen it. What, what, what could he not tell Lauer? Well, the, you know, part, mainly is these upper incidents. Tom Cruise mm-hmm. is on OT7 also. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Everything from... Basically, the level of clear on up is considered very, very secret. Mm-hmm. And there's this – much of the stories on particularly OT2, OT3 are very wild. And the idea that What's we – What's there that's wild that people need to hear? That, um, for example, on OT2, um, there are these inc- things that happen to us mm-hmm. literally trillions, sometimes trillions of trillions of years ago that affect the way we think. Today today and that this was all sort of evilly planned by these Zeno. people well it's not everything well actually it turns out it yeah. was planned of, yeah. by Zenu. there are things that happened before that that were equally as bad that were just planned actually the people behind it were the psychiatrists of mm-hmm. of the day millions and millions of years so ago. anytime you're at a demonstration or see something and guys are holding signs that say psychiatry kills who are they well, I I know that they're probably um, Scientology. Scientologists. Sure. Funny enough, my ex brother in law, the one that won't talk to me anymore, he lived in Boulder in the nineties, and he had a van, a big white step van. Said that he psychiatry drove kills. Yeah. I I used to see that van. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that was your brother in law. Yeah. <laughs> and and because the real reason is the Thetans, not not depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, whatever it is. That's not really. It's not the true reason why any of this stuff happened, right? Yeah. 